Is that a laurel? Oh, and there's something special about that laurel. What you is just it? have to notice it when you see it. All right, all right. All right. Ooh, TEs, of course. We get TEs all the time. Damn, Yo, this is really hot. Yeah. They're super fouled up. So I just got in and cars were already here and the guys didn't vlog it, so no, nope. we're gonna do that now. No vlog time, <laughs> only work time. Everybody's sleepy. Is that a laurel? Oh, and there's something special about that laurel. What you is just it? have to notice it when you see it. All right, all right, all right. Is it in the engine bay or on the exterior? Whoa, well, carbon fiber! Yeah, that's a weird That's hydro dip. <laughs> <laughs> that's that space age stuff. Oh. No, I don't know. You look right at it! That ship manual. not? It's a manual. Are they not usually manual? No, well, see, I didn't, I didn't know that. See, look. Oh, yeah, yeah somebody cut it out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So what's next? Ooh, TEs, of course. We get TEs all the time. Damn, son. Do we all the TEs? Cover? Yeah, those are, those are the monoblocks. Same ones that were on Paxton's car. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This one's got like a hard pipe kit on it. Looks like Z32 map. What is this? What's up? All right. Got Ninja nice Bay needs some work. Check out what they did with the boost controller. They trimmed this out to make it fit. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's some Josh right there. I know. Josh I'm can appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Look, it's up. I don't know if they painted this. They probably just painted it. That looks it. paint. That's stock. Make it look cool. Where does that go? Uh, this is supposed to go here into that plug, but they just jumped it. Oh. Ah, I see. Maybe something wasn't working right. Yep. Never fixed it. You were like, oh, it's temporary. Split fire coals, man. Oh, those uh, are good. I do know that the Hikus system is messing up. Because mm. when I backed it in here, the steering wheel would twitch. Right. And the Hikus light would flash. So, can one of you guys really explain this Hikus? I don't really understand it's what it really is. All wheel steering. All wheel steering. That's what the Hikus does. Yeah. So, so you take it out. So when you have. Senses. In the back of your pump, you have these fins yeah. that are inside, and when your pump spins, the fins expand mm -hmm. and pressurize the system. And it pushes the fluid down through here, and then you have another pump here that goes to the back. And mm. it pushes the fluid back to there into your rack that's in the back, and that's how So the, the rear wheels actually steer a little bit. Yeah, they, move. they move. What? It feels like the ass of the car is you know? Like I didn't know if that. If it feels like it's going to spin out, it'll oh, yeah. adjust a little bit. That is crazy. Right. Okay. You gotta think that this system is 25, 30 years old, so old it's school. not gonna be as, you know. Uh, Man, it messes a think. lot of people up. To be honest with you. <laughs> like yeah, can you really feel it? it? Yeah, like it'll uh, mess you up. Sometimes if they're not working right, or you know they if freak out in a corner, yeah. they'll actually throw you off. You know, if you're cornering. So why do people delete that? They just don't like it. Delete it. Yeah. yeah. To keep it locked out. So like it doesn't you, do that. If you drive one of these cars with Hikus mm -hmm. and the alignment's off. And you're booking it down the highway, mm -hmm. it'll adjust on you in oh, the middle God. of going straight. Oh no! Nah. Yeah, screw that. So, ditch that. <laughs> and then this is kind of hot. This is Josh's this is like w Yo, man. this is really Long hot. Rally stuff. I like it. It's like a little I mean, super kind of. It needs kinda. a little bit of work, but you know. <laughs> uh, it's this so is so much power is almost sucking it into the engine. This, man. What's a silicone? Yeah. Or no, that's a plastic weld. Oh, man. It's working, I'm guessing. I need a radiator for it. <laughs> but look, this is what I thought was on the other cell. Look, you see how it's uh, oh, yeah, liquid it's cooled in there? Mm -hmm. Before it's time, man. Dang, this is so cool. Like, I'm saying, like, doesn't it look like a super, though, from, like, the door back? It's crazy. I don't really notice that. I drive the crap out of one of these. Seriously. Space stuff looks like with this? What? Yeah. <laughs> it does look like that, doesn't it? This thing's this cool. Is cool man. This I is like all-wheel drive? Here. Yeah, this is all-wheel drive. Oh, yeah, this is better. Shit. What? They got a NOS button. <laughs> really? <laughs> this one's awesome. This one's the more sought after. We're not going to have this one very long. Someone's going to buy this Man. Hot. Oh, look at that. It's hard to find these in good condition, too. Yeah, this panel. Yeah. Man, I'm excited about this one. Look at that steering wheel, the Momo. If it didn't say horn, though, I would think that red button was something serious. 
beautiful. That's what we have in stock so far. Three new cars off the ship. Celica, GTR, and the Laurel. Nope. Looks legit. We have to take this out because when I push my foot down, yeah. I'll hit oh. it on that. And then what's this? Oh. Data port. Yep. Man. Yo, imagine like cruising up to the drift track in all stock. But look seats. how comfortable that one looks. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I know. That's someone's couch. That, that's what I'm saying. It looks like a couch. Ooh. Looks just like a couch. Yeah. Somebody needs to sit in this thing. That thing looks nuts. Tevin, come around here, sit in this seat. <sighs> Let's see what these, these couch seats talk about. Windows look. Ooh. Yeah. Oh man, this is crazy. It's so what? Yo, did you see that turn? Does the battery work? No. no. Toasted. Yeah. I was gonna say, but the windows, the there's windows? no B pillar. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing comes down. Yeah. Oh, this thing is awesome. It yeah. feels like really cool. It feels like an old school like sofa. Like I, my dad had a sofa that was like <laughs> the <laughs> same exact material. Those back yeah. seats actually look comfortable. Yeah, look too. at that. That is nuts. Is there anything in here? No. I like it a lot. Oh. Some secrets. Oh, they just came on. Send it. Yep, send it. Pamphlet. Yeah. It's uh buying a wife <laughs> from overseas. <laughs> it's like uh pamphlet so, on how to do that. We just got this awesome Laurel in. Me and CJ went, went through, cleaned it up, uh, the exterior of the engine bay, jams. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's really crooked, but it'll be all right. Just kidding. That's fantastic. It's Friday, people. It is Friday. So, uh, this thing's five-speed swap. It's got a RB20. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go through our check-in procedure, look it over, get it up in the air, kind of see what's going on with it make our notes uh stuff we need to get stuff we need to fix stuff we need to repair stuff we need to do so let's get it what do you think chris i love these cars i think that i think i love them <laughs> okay pinch welds look really good I bet you they rode down from dirt road. You think? Dude, this subframe looks fresh. Yeah. I mean, it's dirty, but goodness, there's not even a spot of like any surface yeah, rust even. Like it shape. is just it looks good. I'm pretty sure that these uh, suspension is similar to the S13. Yeah. Like it looks similar. It. I'm not gonna lie, as far as initial rust issues, it looks good. Boots look good. Needs tension arms. That's not surprising. Yeah. Look at this one. Oh, that this one even better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So. This uh, this this is gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be a little goopy. Mm. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not too bad of a color. I love but syrup. Yeah, but it's that's thick. like thick. Look at it coming thick, now. Son. It's all bubbly and. So it shouldn't be that way. No. I mean, that's some thick shit right there. Four hundred right. W seven fifty. What? Look at all the. Look at all that. Uh. All right, guys. So <laughs> we're pulling the plugs out of this thing. First of all, you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I can see it. We'll hold it. Yeah. They're super fouled up. Yep. Um, the problem is, they were running eight, where it should be a six. Or, well, a five. Or a six. But. Eight is way too much. That's way too much. I mean, like these are great. These iridiums, too. These are only, they're not, they're not. Super fat. I mean, I said super fat. Super uh, fouled. Like they're 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 gangster spark plugs, but not for this car. Not for this. Injector clicking. One through four is good.
Alright, so injectors are clicking, which means we're getting fuel, we're just not getting spark. Because I felt the car had a little vibration, and uh, it's too old to hook up to the Nissan data scan that we have. Because, um, like GTRs and stuff, you can go in and turn off each cylinder to test it, and I can't do that on this, so I ended up just pulling the coil pack and see how it changes the way it runs, and then I'll bump it back up. Everything changed except for cylinder number five. It's unplugged now and nothing's changed. Plug it back in, nothing changes. So cylinder number five is what's missing. It's either a coil pack or it could be even the connector in the uh, harness itself. So what we're gonna do is uh, pull that coil pack out, snag one from the other motor, spare motor that we have and test it out, see if it fixes it. We got uh, messing around with this thing a little bit more, um, kind of diagnosing it a little bit. Five was missing, um, so we swapped the uh, the coil pack out. Turns out these coil packs also go in a uh, CA18D, which is weird. I swapped one in five to see if it was specifically the coil pack, and it was still uh, one five um, when, when we knew that that coil pack was working. So I started looking at the harness. Um, and this plug, right, which is part of your coil pack harness, but uh, somebody in Japan had swapped that for that, and you know, this is kind of just all sitting here. Um, so we started messing with it and uh, found out that that's not where that's supposed to go. So swap those two, and she runs like a champ. Yeah, and don't forget to mention uh, when we got this thing in, I went to go take these out, and it had no bolts in any. Yeah freaking coil pack at all but that would make sense why this car was really rich and those plugs were so fouled uh because it was running on five cylinders like that for who knows but it's got really good compression so yeah it's a good motor still